Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to the bunker tonight. Always indie, always original, all the time. Tonight we have a solo artist on this Tuesday night. Very excited for it. Katie Hibben. Uh, I think she uh, reached out to the bunker here oh, two or three months ago. I listened to her music. I said, you are definitely getting on the show. Um, it's a solo acoustic songwriter, little country, little rock. She's been playing in the local Midwest scene for a long time. She's a fixture. Uh, she released her first album in 2014 called Transition. She's got a ton of great music out there. I am very excited to have her here, here tonight. If this is your first time to the bunker especially, please log into YouTube. Put on earbuds if you're on a phone and set the resolution correctly so you get a nice clear picture. If you're watching on a TV, you might want to log into a phone too and turn down the volume so you can leave comments but if you can log into youtube you can definitely leave comments um the uh it's just katie and i in the bunker tonight so i i'm gonna be the only one clapping but so you're gonna have to show your feedback with comments which i'm sure you will do thank you so much for coming in tonight uh we are free to the audience and we're free to the artists the only thing we really ask is you like and subscribe to the bunker and follow the artists um uh, their social links are all down below don't do it now you can do it later after the show so you don't stop the show right now we do however accept tips they're always appreciated it helps out the show immensely we split it with the artists 50 50 so if you like the show uh, towards the end um uh, leave a tip. There's links down below. You can do Venmo or PayPal is the easiest for us. And we really, really appreciate that. The other thing we've been doing here for a while now, or probably a couple months, is the artists have been uh, generating a signature pic. A signature picture, and um, there's only five of them, and they're custom, and she just signed them tonight. If you'd like one, uh, they're $25, and you can... Uh, Either buy it on eBay or you can send Venmo with your name and address, and I will ship it right from here, hot off the press. Uh, it's uh, Katie Hibben, and so if you want a little memento, that would be super as well. The, uh, Katie had a great warm-up tonight. She, um, uh, A Little Country, A Little Rock is probably uh, correct. A lot of her published music is with a band, and it's very cool. Uh, she has a beautiful voice. She has well-composed songs. Uh, I'm, I only heard a handful of them during the sound check, but I've been listening to some of her stuff on Spotify, but I'm really excited for the show tonight. Uh, without any further ado, thank you all for coming to the bunker tonight. If you're returning to the bunker, thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time, I hope you enjoy it. Katie, tell us about what you're going to do for us in the show tonight, and, uh, and then we'll get rolling. All right. Cool. Well, first of all, Thank you very much, Fletch, for having me. I appreciate this. Um, I, you know, March 8th, 2020, we all kind of remember when, when that hit, when that struck. But that's the day I released my second record. That's which my I'll birthday. Flash up. That's is my it, birthday. Is it really? Yeah. That's awesome. But I, re I released this album, Oliver's Blessing, on that day. But three days later, everything shut down. So we had a huge show, a huge release show, um, a lot of momentum going into there, and then everything shut down, um, and then live streams became very big, very big at that time, and uh, I remember doing one. I think I, d I did one with uh, my drummer on Facebook, um, and it was, you know, the video wasn't very clear. I don't think the audio was all that great, um, and we didn't revisit it. I ended up uh, going back to the grind. I went back to UPS <laughs> and did my did my duty there as far as uh, delivering all those things that everybody needed. Um, everybody setting up an office. I'm sure your UPS guy was actually quite busy with all the equipment that I see down here. I'm well, guessing. Well, uh, uh, Katie, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned the beginning of COVID in March. Uh, the first show we did was in May, right in COVID. What was it? And okay. so, and so, yeah, you're yeah. following a tradition of COVIDites. Oh. My God. So anyway, okay. Have a great show tonight, Katie. Thank um, you. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. All right. Yeah. Well, going from that record, uh, I'm gonna probably start off with with "Made to Love" from the Oliver's Blessing record that was put out. And then kind of 
put on halt at that time. So I'm excited to share the music from this record and even my first record from 2014 and maybe a couple new ones that you um, aren't going to quite recognize that you won't be able to find on Spotify or, or Apple Music or even YouTube. But eventually, eventually I will be getting that new music out there. So let's start off with Made to Love. Have you ever felt so numb So distant from yourself And change ain't ever gonna come Only a silent prayer Keeps you calm you thank you yes that that's a song that i wrote many years ago and you know i wrote it very quickly it's one of those songs that kind of came together quickly but i didn't really know what i wrote <laughs> it's one of those like okay that that's where i'm always reminded that i don't write these songs completely alone you know um i definitely believe that god writes through me sometimes because that's a song that uh, became very profound for me many years later, you know, coming from a dark place and then finding your way out of it. And 
you know, knowing that there's, there's a lot more to, you know, the skin and bone that we are, you know, we are love, we are light. So that had to make that record for sure. <laughs> Buddy Comedy, let's see who we got listening here so far. Oh boy, I'm getting to that age where I've got a. You got list some main. Up. You got some up. main bunker fans out I there. I do. I see that. Uh, we got Tony. We got Jay Kinzer. River Sunstone. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. All right, uh, there's Kara. Lot, there's more people start need to yes. start leaving comments. Leave those comments. <laughs> oh, I got my niece out in Utah. Let's see how many states we can. Uh, can collect here. She's out in Utah right now. So thank I, you guys. I, thank I need you guys to start for a listening. Competition for the farthest listener. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for some Florida, yeah. some Utah. That, that's pretty Brazil. far out there. I'm, well, I'm well, yeah, Brazil, you, you got Brazil and yeah. Germany. I go. mean, you were mentioning there them. We so same time that's zone. Though, Brazil cool. or Argentina. Yeah. Uh, great song. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I've went into the way that I recorded Oliver's Blessing was very different than how I recorded my first record. Uh, my band and I actually recorded this one. The first one was done with studio musicians and session players. So this one to go in was a labor of love. We actually went into electrical audio with Steve Albini and we started there um, and we we finished there and but it, I listened back, and it just wasn't completely where it needed to be. So we took it, and we we added what we needed to at my guitarist rec, uh, studio up in Elgin, Secret Studios with Mario Massey. Uh, so it was a very it was a very different way to record than the first time, um, which was uh, very. I guess efficient, almost mechanical in a way, and that I, I recorded at Gravity Studios in Wicker Park. So I'll get to that the next song though. This one is also off of the Oliver's Blessing record, and this one's called Little Man. <laughs> Hey, little man, hey, little man, I might be gone, but I still see you. I still hear you laugh, even though this wasn't my plan. I hope you to be a good little Smile, though it may be a while. 
Very Thank nice. you. Still very different. Still very different doing this with with different cameras and everything. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really funny. I, know, I keep looking that way. He's he's over there. I promise yeah. you. But I need to be looking. I'll this just way. Uh, <laughs> s uh, I'll circle back and then ask you a question. But, oh, okay. But um, the uh, it's funny because you're talking about COVID at the beginning, and that's how the show started. Yeah. I was telling you, uh, you know, Katie and I were talking before the show. It was just me and a couple cameras, and I was stumbling through it. And it was, <laughs> it was like, uh, all right, well, nobody's playing any live shows, so you might as well come to my basement and sing. And, <laughs> but um, so, when did you write that song, and what's that song about? Little uh, Man. Yeah. Um. So, it's pretty. Uh, I, <laughs> I've been married a couple times and divorced a couple times. <laughs> so, uh, my first marriage. Um, my wife and I uh, had a child, and we had a son. So that is little man. Uh, um, but unfortunately, okay. through the separation and choices I made, I certainly look at um, you know the choices I made through all that and everything that happened uh, many years ago. It's very much in the past, but uh, you know I had to look back on it and write a song and just hope that. You know, so there's a lot of depth, and, right. a lot of depth and meaning in those yes. words. Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Absolutely. Yes. So speaking of transition, we'll transition to the song Transition. Uh, this is the title track to my first record. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm not sure if she's listening or not. But uh, a friend of mine just recently told me that she... Uh, listens, she wakes up to this song every morning as she hits that alarm clock to get her butt to the gym. <laughs> so it, uh, it really, it, it's so cool to hear that people not only, you know, come to shows just to listen to the music, but actually listen to it in their, their daily lives, um, is, is so cool. So, and this is, it is one of those songs, it's almost kind of like made to love. It's very, it's, it's very much kind of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and, you know, digging your way out of a out of a hard time and knowing that, you know what, it's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. You're just in that transitional period. It's it's a it's a moment of change. And that's that's what I've really come to accept. I mean, the older I get, I think that you just have to know that life is a game of adjustments and you just got to make those, you know, and accept that to your core. I don't always. I do not always accept that to my core. I've usually got to collect myself on some days and, you know, maybe listen to this song is probably the best thing that I could do for myself or play it and go, okay, Katie, it's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. So here we go. Here's Transition. I pulled away, I made the change from a simple solution to a great rising sun. Oh, I died a little to come back to life with a better sense of From a burden so heavy to a wide open levee, I sank into it to rise far above with a greater sense of love.
Thank you. Thank you. Get in here and see. You need to see some virtual claps out there. Yes. Uh, and, <laughs> and don't be shy about asking some questions. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we have some people that don't know Katie and some people that do. Hey, Blue Bunny, thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, Mom and Dad, my biggest fans. Thank you guys for listening. I appreciate you guys. And my Aunt Mary and Uncle Pete, very cool. He's actually, uh, Pete is a very talented keyboardist as well so that's that's fletch fletch's instrument so he was mentioning that earlier um and we got we do have florida in the house dar Mirko, thank you thank you i miss you guys i miss you guys so much i gotta get down there you know at this time of year i'm not so jealous of the florida thing but come around to like february i might be giving you a call i might have to get down there get down to florida and see you guys Nice audience tonight. <clears throat> nice songs. Thank you. Um, I know you have a bunch of them. Uh, what time frame did you write these in? Last 10 years? Last 2 years? Last oh 15 years? I mean, um, a little bit of mix, everything? It is a little bit of mix. Um, I'll be playing a... The newest one I have is probably, and again, because I... <laughs> I kind of got away from music. It's kind of been uh, what has gone on in my life. I mean, when I was 21, so I have a very unorthodox UPS career. I started at UPS when I was 21, and I almost stopped playing my guitar, writing, singing for almost eight years, almost about that. And then just by happenstance, uh, a friend that I met through, um, I think it was a personal training school, that I was that I was attending, and she's like, "Yeah, usually during the winter, uh, this guy and I we usually ride bikes, and then in the winter time we can't ride the bikes, so then we get down and we he plays drums, I play guitar. He's like, D and I'm like, oh yeah, I used to play guitar, I sing a little, and that pulled me back into that that world oh, of music, and so I so started, you, yeah. You had a refreshing hiatus. Yes, and I started kind of writing like a mad woman, so. Probably about, I mean, that was about 15 years ago now. Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been a minute. But, yeah, these, these songs are, are fairly spread out throughout that time. Uh, tell yeah. us about the next song. What's the name right. of the next song? That is County Road Tonight. No, the next one. Uh, the next song? Yeah. That I'm going to play? Yes, Call out the title of the next song that you are going to play. <laughs> the next song I'm going to play is County Road Tonight. Oh, really? It is. Yes. Okay. Oh, but my set list is out of order. Never mind. Oh, is it? Never mind. Well, that's we're a little all, we're I, all I good. I actually took yours. <laughs> we're all good. Okay. Well, then, County Road Tonight, it is. And this one, uh, a lot of people like to call it Country Roads, and that's all right. That's fine. <laughs> John Denver, of course, you know, just... And just put that into everybody's mind, I suppose, with anything followed by um, or, or road before that is going to be country, not county. But it is. It's County Road Tonight. I wrote this about, um, I don't know, just it's a relationship type of thing. And, but it's really about kind of going, g getting some space and clearing your head and, and going for that drive and and then coming back to it, really. That's what it's really about. But it's about a, it's really about County Line Road that's out there. I mean, it's it's been built up quite a bit since I've lived out there. But it used to be a little bit more desolate and a, and a nice bare road to um, drive along, clear your head. So, County Road. Yeah. 
it won't be long no, before we say what needs to be said. song thanks thank you all right what do you have on the next oh i think we're all cut we're up we're chips, caught up. chips, chips, chips okay, that was actually my fault i screwed i i misread the set list if you can believe that <laughs> like unless you printed out two different ones but no <laughs> no it's all on me Kea. Yeah. you having fun yes good this is excellent this yeah. is great because it is. It's nice and cozy down here. It's very, very chill. Yeah. You know? It is. Just try not to be nervous with all the cameras on you. But. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, al we always go for chill. That's what we go for. Yes. That's our major premise in life is chill. You um, have to. You have to uh, bring Your it songs are sounding great. Um, uh, I just wanted you to... Uh, call out the titles and, and give some people backstory. You got a nice mm -hmm. audience in here tonight. Very Thank nice. you, everybody, for coming. Yes. Um, uh, I love your lyrics. It's oh. Like, oh, we'll talk more about that later. Sorry, let's <laughs> no, move no, on. No, no, no. I want to <laughs> thank everybody that has tuned in and taking the time to to listen to listen to us. So thank you. I appreciate you guys. I really do. So let's see. 
Uh, Gypsy, well, how many, I mean, are, do we have time limit? I'm not sure where we're Nope, at. you are all good. We You're are good. right on track. Right on track. All right, that's what I like. Even have a song called One Track Mind coming up, so. <laughs> I like it. All right, well, when I was writing this song, I had this. For the longest time as I wrote this song. But this is about all I had. Couldn't figure out what I was going to sing to it. And a lot of my lyrics, as you just kind of brought up, I mean, they're, they're very, can be very deep. They can be very sad. Um, I don't know, profound in, so, in some ways. And I think I, and maybe have some type of meaning that isn't always direct and obvious. Um, trying to get a little bit better at that. But I think in some ways, in my, my artistic ways, I, I still, that's the way that I've written. I mean, when those lines come to me, that's how they... Uh, come out. I, you know, sometimes I'll work on lines, and I really have to work at, you know, you know how I'm going to rhyme a word, or you know how it how it should be phrased, or, or what have you. But this one, I don't know. I it has really no direct meaning to me at all. It just something that came to me that was a very simple, uh, just a simple song, simple lyrics, um, pretty straightforward, and it's just about I don't know girl that comes into town and she isn't staying. Her name is Gypsy Jane. <laughs> so This one's off the Oliver's Blessings record. I really, the way that this one came together ended up being one of the favorites. I mean, they're all my babies. They're all, you know, you always have a, some favorites in there. And this one kind of stood out. It wasn't at first, but uh, we had a cello player. who You actually had on here, Adela. Um, and she played on the record, and a violin player. So it was great to add that into my music, which I had never, I hadn't done before. So it, uh, so this, is, yes, the acoustic version is nice, but definitely go check out the the full version on either Spotify or Apple Music, even uh, even YouTube. You'll find the music on YouTube. Uh, if you prefer, or obviously go to my website at www.katiehavenmusic.com and you can buy the record or CD if you still prefer to buy that medium <laughs> instead of downloading. So here we go. Gypsy Jane. I met a girl today Said her name was Gypsy Jane She knows her way around My untraveled heart pounds I wanna go Wherever she will go She winds around the hills Green as those dollar bills I sing and play along Now I know her favorite song I wanna go Wherever she will go, but this is home to me. She steals my beating heart, feels like it's just the start. She looks deep into my eyes, it's hard to deny. I wanna go where. She will go. I want her to stay, quit her gypsy ways. She's leaving, leaving town. I'm sad, oh, so down. I want to go wherever she will go, but this is home to me.
Thank you. Thank you. That was a nice little story tale. <laughs> Thank you. Well, some fo folks are poning up here, and they're asking. Uh, somebody asked a nice question. Um, what is that? Deco said, "Do you write for uh, your lyrics? Do you write for you, or do you write for the audience?" Uh -huh. And you know, I, I don't think I've ever heard anybody ask that question before, but it's a great question, actually. Hmm. Um, and that's where I mentioned before. I mean, sometimes I I write, and I really have no idea where it's coming from, and I don't have a a direct audience that I'm necessarily going for. It's just kind of coming through me. Um, but there are times where I'm very conscious about what I'm writing. And I think a lot of the time, and I think that's where uh, a lot of my songs can be very personal, that it is more writing for me. Um, but as I, as I write, as they maybe come more into, you know, with fuller instrumentation and they've developed longer, I see how um, an audience can connect with those type of songs. So, and not and not in every case. I think, um, I think that's just an uh, all artists. You know, each one of us. You know, it very can be very personal, and it, it doesn't matter. You know, but I think you know. In any case, that the listener can determine. You know, what the song and how what it means to them. Um, in whatever way that works for them, and they connect with it, and that I think that's the beautiful thing about music. That's the beautiful thing about songwriting. Um, sometimes there are direct meanings, but other times it can be more than one meaning. So, let me tune this up for the next song. While you're tuning, Danielle said, <coughs> "What's your favorite instrument besides the guitar?" <laughs> I guess she's talking about tone, I'm, I guess. Or do you, do you play another instrument? Um, I play very little piano. Very little. Um, I don't think I've ever really performed much of piano in front of anybody. But um, So what, what, other, what other instrument do you like to listen to, I guess, would be the question. Mm. Um, or maybe she's asking that with the, the violin and the cello. Um, I mean, piano music is so... Great. My grandfather was a piano player. Um, and, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, mom and dad or anybody on that side of the family, um, but I don't believe we have any recordings of him playing the piano. And it's uh, it, it's really hard not, you know, it would be great if there was something out there of him playing and to, and to hear that. Um, and I think that, and that's even part of the reason why I'm driven to record and to captivate, you know, what I do. Um, I don't write all the time. I, I certainly am not somebody that is writing, you know, every single day. It's really when the muse strikes me. Um, but I think that's a big part of what's driven me to to capture my new music when I can because you never know, right? You get hit by the proverbial bus. Sort of <laughs> um, you're sort of an inspirational writer, and uh, you probably have periods ups and downs, I would mm -hmm. be my guess. Yep, yep. For sure. It's just, that's life, really. That's what songwriting is, right? <laughs> Capturing those moments. This is more of a love song on a cool summer night. This one's called Wonder.
Thank you. Thank you. Let me see who, who else we got here. Oh, all right, now we've got Kentucky. Got my uh, cousin Amber and Patrick. Thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you once again, Fletch. I appreciate this. You guys. Definitely go out. I mean, if you're enjoying this, this is this is a great way to see live local music and not so local if you're out of state to to catch some really talented artists. I mean, I've I've watched some other shows and it's just so great to see even just the acoustic acts and see really where the songs began. But subscribe to the bunker and you will get to catch these shows all the time because he does acoustic shows on Tuesdays, correct? And then Thursdays, full bands. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Katie. Mm -hmm. Super. Thanks. Loving your songs. Oh, thank thanks. you so much. Thank you. That's one of the biggest water jugs anybody's ever brought down here. <laughs> long set. You're planning on a long set? I mean, it's not full. <laughs> I, I fill that thing up for work, though, and I drink the whole thing. <laughs> Working outside, you have to be prepared for the weather in any in any in any instance. So, gotta stay hydrated. That's my that's my tip of the show. Yes, always stay hydrated. <laughs> well, I know I titled this uh, this show like a little bit of country and a little bit of rock, right? And I think that perfectly describes this song. This is a newer song. It'll be it'll definitely be on the next record. Uh, We'll get into the works as soon as I can and get that new music out to you guys. Uh, this one's called One Track Mind.
Blessed be the sun Even the son of a gun It's gonna take some time Baby, sit back and enjoy the ride Yeah, all right Got a country song in my heart And a rock and roll attitude You can come with me to get a racker in there yeah <laughs> thank you are studio versions of some of these songs out on spotify uh yes absolutely wow. um that one no and the one i'm about to do no but all the rest of them so just two newer ones tonight but all the rest of them you'll find on spotify or um, like i said even right there on youtube you'll find them right there too is the beautiful thing about being a um, independent uh, artist is that there are plenty of mediums out there to get it on every platform that is out there but um, it is it's it's great to be able to share music in that way and it just not have to rely on just the records and the CDs so I also have shirts for sale which I, I don't know if you can tell with the guitar but yes I thought I would uh, model it this evening and actually wear one of my Oliver's Blessing t-shirts. So those are for sale on my website as well, along with the CDs, records, stickers, vinyl decals, and and many others. And the keychains are, are brand new. So those, those are on the website. Everything's there. I will have to warn you, if you're going for the older design of t-shirts that I have on clearance on my website, I'm all out of the mediums. So it's fair warning. <laughs> know to order more mediums next time we have um a lot of people that are um like classic music or um, not classic music that buy vinyl uh do you have a you have vinyl there i do show yes, us a picture of that and wh when was it pressed that. uh it was pressed by third man records so i had it done there um and that was again that was 2020 yeah um, um, well it was actually I had I had the process started in 2019, and I was like biting my nails the closer we got to the show because I, I didn't know if I was going to get it in time. Um, but thank goodness it did come and, through. And uh, everybody can find vinyl uh, go by going to katiehibben.com, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Great. Yep. Super. Yep. Um, yes. Not sure if she's listening or not, but let me show, show it again. The the beautiful picture in the front. Uh, done by Janet Kay. I actually had those pictures done in like 2017, but yeah, there's a little mini Katie with my guitar at the top of a hill. Originally, it was going to be, I was going to title the record County Road Tonight, but 
some things changed, and that's a maybe a, a different story for a different evening, but yes, became Oliver's Blessing. This song is definitely one of those sad songs. Oh, yes, it's brand new. Uh, well, not so brand new to me anymore, but it's going to be brand new to anybody out there that is familiar with my music that is on all the, all the streaming sites. And this is one, unless you've come out to a show recently, you have not heard. Um, but yes, it's, it's one of those where you just know if you're in a relationship and you just know the end is coming. And uh, this one is a song that came together fairly quickly. Um, it's, it's been modified here and there in parts of it, but for the most part, it's, uh, every, everything was, was written fairly quickly. This one's called She's Already Gone. Trying to hold on to something that's just not there. She looks at me, oh, and doesn't seem to care. Where there once was love, now only misery. And I see this is a turning point. She might be sleeping in a night, might be calling me baby, but it's not the same. So I'm losing this fight. I feel it won't be too long. Cause in my mind, she was already gone. The plan she made. Don't consider me at all. She's out tonight. Oh, and doesn't care to call. Where there once was trust, now only broken faith. And I know the ever changing. I think everybody, Thank you. everybody can relate to that song. Yeah, yes. When you just know. <laughs> All right. Well, wow, we have gotten down to it here. 
Oh, <laughs> we have a really, really great audience. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Absolutely. Thank uh, you. We Thank got you 22 guys. people in the house, and we only have 12 likes. Give a thumbs up. <laughs> That's going to help Katie get more views in the next couple days. Much uh, appreciated. You know, one thing about the bunker is there's the people show up live, and then over the next three or four days, people uh, come out and watch. Thank you yeah. all so much for coming <laughs> out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, you can please <clears throat> uh, leave a tip if you'd like. I love tips. I'm always going to ask for them. But don't feel obligated. We're free to everybody, and then we're going to keep it free. But what I would like you to do after the sh this next song, because I think it's the last one, right, Kitty? This is the last one, yes. After this show, after this next song, uh, follow the artist. It's free. You can go out on social media. If you have Facebook, if you have Instagram, uh, uh, buy some merchandise. That goes a long way with artists. Um, it's 10 bucks for you. It's 20 bucks for you. It means a lot to the artists. And um, uh, so please consider that on your way out uh, if you like the show. Uh, and if you like the show, obviously like and subscribe to The Bunker and come back. Uh, we're actually, July is ramping down. We're going to be dark in August. And then we hit it hard in September and October. Um, so um, anyway, I... What's uh, this last song is called? What, Katie? It's called "I Get You." And thank you, thank you for plugging that. Yes, Instagram or Facebook is is either or, but Instagram. I'm trying to build a lot more followers on Instagram. So if you if you are on Instagram, go ahead and follow me there. And that's free. My name. That's yep. free. Click, click, like, uh, like. Yep, you got <laughs> it. You got it. Yep. Thanks so much. Tell us about this last song before we get into it. Oh, I get you. This is probably I haven't looked at any numbers recently but this is probably my most stream song it's usually um a, a lot of people tell me it's their favorite song uh, i'm not sure if uh terry ann or robert rolf Federson are listening well, but i if, know that that is her favorite song if so you're looking at the is, comments yes. uh, uh ken who i think is your dad he, he asked if you're gonna play it <laughs> yes i sort I know of knew I, I sort of yes. knew you were but i didn't want to ruin the surprise <laughs> don't, don't ruin the surprise yes yeah. Absolutely, yes. I it's a it's typically a one I'll I'll finish with. Um, it's like I said, it, it has been my more popular song Great. by everybody. Uh, this is another one that I wrote pretty quickly, and it and I remember writing it very much in the emotion, and I think um, the way that it's written was very it's very dynamic. You know, it's very low, and then it picks up. And I think that uh, is a testament to the emotional roller coaster that I was feeling at the time that I that I wrote it. I'm not sure. I know some. It's I'm sure it's lyrics in some song, um, but I, I want to say maybe Taylor Swift. Is it, it Tears on My Guitar? Did she write a song something like that? I don't know. Feel free to help me out with that one. But yeah, it was like there, there were real tears on the guitar as I was literally writing. And uh, it just just the way that it came out uh, musically and lyrically, just all at once. And that doesn't always happen. A lot of the times, um, you know, there'll be lyrics that I've written and then I'll be noodling around on the guitar and see, OK, the, the, these lyrics will kind of work with this this mood of this song. Um, but this one was just kind of all together. So here we go. This is off the transition record. <laughs>
Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that's how I hit this mic so many. T- I, I, oh. th- I actually didn't do it, I think, in the performance. But as we were oh. we were sound checking, I managed to knock that around a little bit. You, my are, you are way too <laughs> kind. <laughs> my um, strumming gets a little wild. <laughs> the mics get hit all the time. Oh, okay. okay. So uh, uh, a couple uh, general comments tonight. I know <clears throat> I think you'll be back with a band down the road. Which cool. is going to be very cool, because cool. I've been listening to your studio tracks and and just like uh, there's complexity and they're great compositions. I'm am- amazed at how uh, <clears throat> fluid and natural you are playing the guitar. Oh, yeah. I mean it, it's a it's a subtle thing, but you have to be able to you know uh, s- some great singers and songwriters have a hard time actually playing the guitar. Mm. You know, it's it's like they, they get into it. Yeah, for some reason, this was very natural. This was very, like, especially with the right hand, I think, rhythmic, rhythmically. Uh, uh, but piano, yes, this wasn't isn't so natural. I really, really have to work it <laughs> at this. But this, yes, this felt more and, natural. And th- th- that's a beautiful guitar. Yeah. If I bring up a picture, show it to the audience there just oh. and describe that guitar because sure. it is amazing. You've had it for 25 yeah. years, did you say? A little over 25 years now, yeah. yeah. It's a uh, Gibson Blues King Electro. Um, it just, it's not too bassy. It's not too trebly as far as a Gibson guitar goes. It's yeah. like kind of that it's nice cool. 
middle ground. But yeah, I have kind of have my dad to thank because <clears throat> my first guitar was a Yamaha. Uh, Ken. Yes, Ken. Yeah, I know. He, Ken, he's, is he commenting a lot? Ken is, is, is the main guy here tonight. Thank you very <laughs> much, Ken, for coming in tonight. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Dad. Uh, but yes, he, he encouraged me very strongly to go buy a Gibson. Do you come so, from a, a musical family background? Uh, my father's side of the family. Like I said, my grandfather was a piano player. My uncle, uh, one uncle plays bass and he plays guitar. And I know okay. my other uncle down in Kentucky, he's, he's mo- primarily a guitarist. As, as far as I know, I believe he plays maybe a few other instruments, but mm. pri- guitars is yeah main thing. So uh, It's funny, yeah. um, uh, your show tonight, uh, again, I'll, I'll, I hate to bring up the COVID lockdown thing because <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to move past it. But it, it but, comes along with the live stream. But right, it, yeah. it, uh, this kind of show is mm-hmm. something that was very uh, sort of mm-hmm. similar to the first shows we did. Mm-hmm. It was a solo singer, songwriter, yeah. acoustic with some cameras in, in their face and me, <laughs> and we were blasting through it. Yeah. And um, uh, and you did marvelous. I love the songs. Oh. Thank you very I much, Fletcher. I love the song. Yes, thank uh, you. Vinyl lovers out there, there's vinyl. Yeah. Hold it up one more time, please, go. just Here for the go. camera. I just want to make sure. Um, how, uh, you can support the artists by buying their merchandise and their albums, and I, I think on the replays, uh, keep, keep in mind that you can buy that album, too. The links are always going to be down below. Very nice. Very Any nice. closing comments before I... Uh, no, just once again, intro? thank you guys for, for taking the time to tune in, comment, and, you know, I'll get to go back and kind of look at all of that stuff. I'm, I'm excited to do that because as I'm playing, I'm, I'm in the moment here. So, but thank you guys. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. So what we do, <coughs> excuse me, on the way out is um, here is the set list of all the songs. And uh, we have a good crowd here tonight. We have 17 people right now, or maybe right. four, uh, somewhere along the lines. Mm-hmm. Here's the set list, and you're going to vote for your favorite song, and I'm oh. going to play that on the way out. Okay. And um, if I don't, and so I'll, I'll leave that up there for just a minute. Katie, give some closing comments while they start to vote, and uh, if they right. don't vote, you have to pick one. But <laughs> um, uh, it's hard to pick uh, a song for you because you have a lot of great songs there. Wow. Let's see. Oh. All right. My niece has I Get You. We've got one vote for I Get You. Hmm. You should turn on the Jeopardy theme song right now <laughs> as people decide. There's probably all kinds of people screaming. How do I put in a comment? How? Come on. Let me yeah. type. Let me type right now. I got a second vote for I Get You. Oh. <laughs> Wow, we got three. Yeah, now three. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you about. I uh, wh- while they're still voting, let me ask you about oh, the song. Oh, we I got get a you. little man. We got one vote Ooh, for one little, little man. man. Okay. Hey, Olivia. Oh, the wonder. Oh, the wonder. We're coming in strong. <laughs> while they're voting, sure. I will um, once again. Uh, limited edition, uh, limited edition, wow. one time only. You're going to get a signature photo of Katie Heaven. It's it's signed. It's going to be numbered. There's only five of them, and so if you want a little collector's it's item, it's going to be worth a lot and, of money. About and five uh, years. it helps support the artist, and that is a wonderful thing. Uh, I'm going to call out uh, on Thursday. We have the Waterfall King. Uh, um, some Mel's a friend of mine, the the, the front person, bassist, singer. I think mm-hmm. I'm I'm not sure, but um, this is going to be a hard rock band. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, next Tuesday we have David James, and then uh, Homegrown is on Saturday, July 29th. If you live in the Chicago land area and you haven't heard of Homegrown, this is the 11th year. It is in Lyle, Illinois. It is in Base Camp. Uh, you, you can buy tickets. The links. Oh, if, I don't think I put the links down below, but it's homegrownartsandmusic.com. I'll make sure I put in the link tomorrow uh, so that the replay people can see it. But it is a very cool show. Uh, uh, Aaron Williams and his his close friends have been putting this on for years. I'll be there. I'm a, the bunker is a sponsor for it. There's other some great sponsors, including the Daily Herald and all kinds of stuff. I'll be down there all day watching all the great music. 
I hope you do as well. Um, thanks, Katie. Fantastic set. I put up the set list Thank one you. more time. Thank you. So we're, you look at the comments. Tell me where we are with the... Uh, uh, I get you. It, right. it won out. Yep. We did have one vote for Wonder, one vote for Little Man, but all the rest was I get you. So... <laughs> so a popular demand. Yeah. So the way <laughs> this works is... The way this works is thank you, everybody who's been here before. Thank you, Chris Tobin. Thanks, uh, 610J and regular Bunker fans. And thank you for uh, all the new fans for Katie Hibben coming in tonight. Uh, we do this for free. We do it. Um, we love indie music. We give a platform for indie artists to come and, and, and uh, share their songs. And thank you. And like and subscribe and come back anytime you want. Um, uh, it's uh, it. Your, your input means a lot. Thanks, Mom and Dad, Ken, and, and family, and thanks, everybody else that, that tuned in tonight. I will um, uh, uh, close you out. Everybody, please take care. And on Thursday, two days from now, we have the Waterfall King, and I'll see you then. Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much.